What's up, everybody? This is Tommy from Poganosha Podcast. I just wanted to make this prelude episode before I got into the real episodes of my podcast. This prelude episode will be about how I discovered Pokemon again after 20 years of not collecting, and also how I discovered Pokemon as a child. So I hope everybody will enjoy this episode because this is a little snippet of what I'll be doing in all the other episodes. So this is probably a sound that most of you guys know. This is the theme to the Pokemon TV series. And uh, this is what got me into Pokemon in the first place. So I started collecting trading cards back when I was six years old. And this is back in 1994. In, In Denmark, where I'm living and where I'm from, we had an explosion of trading cards in the early 90s. So... We basically had the options to collect, you know, everything from soccer cards, basketball cards, Magic the Gathering, and so on and so on. And I just happened to be at a school where, you know, we were heavily collecting all of the different training cards. I mainly started collecting basketball cards because basketball was like my, my first love, my first interest. So I started collecting basketball cards and collected heavily also when the other uh, ch- uh, children started uh, stopped sorry uh, collecting when we like fast forward six years and the pokemon wave hit denmark back in the, the year 2000 i was still heavily into the basketball world but i've been collecting so long and as a child been collecting so long that i wanted something new to happen so i as most Childs, you know, watch the Saturday morning cartoons and uh, all of a sudden this uh, cartoon rolls uh, over the screen and it's uh, the Pokemon TV series. And I was like, what is this? And and at this point, the, the Pokemon card game has already been out in Denmark, but I wasn't aware of it due to the fact that I was so much into the basketball world. But... Whenever, you know, the TV series uh, rolled on the screen and and I was like, this is so interesting to me that you have this, you know, TV show that also contains uh, a card game and so also, you know, contains toys and plushes and all the other types of merchandise and accessories. So... I watched some of the episodes and, you know, started to haggle my mom to buy some of the packs and uh, of cards. And, you know, pretty quickly it took over the passion of collecting the basketball cards for that majority of time. So I collected heavily. I collected base set uh, heavily and actually got to the point where I, where I, I, I had all the yeah, base set cards and had all the uh, promotional cards that came as well and even bought the, the starter decks and uh, everything that uh, everything pokemon at the time and everything card related pokemon at the time i just wanted so that was like the birthday presents and you know the christmas presents and everything so fossil in jungle hit and i actually think i, I remember it as that we maybe have skipped one the one or the other but we got both of them mo- almost at the same time and we had this uh, bookstore um, in the city that I'm from. It's called Russell's, uh, and it doesn't exist anymore. But Russell was uh, an American that uh, immigrated to Denmark early, 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 uh, back in the 60s. So he had connections to the um, the uh, American market, and he was actually had like a direct connect to Wizards of the Coast at some point. He was like heavily into Magic of the Gathering and a Warhammer and stuff like that. So it was like easy for him to 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 start implementing the Pokemon cards as well in his store. And it was the same store when I bought my basketball cards. So we used so many Saturdays and and Friday afternoons at this store, you know, having like trade days and uh, promotional days and stuff like that. So, you know, I collected so many cards in such short period of time but that also like hurt my um collecting of pokemon cards because there was only so many cards and i know that sounds strange because today we have like 
I don't know how many thousand different cards and and sets and stuff, but at that point, you know, the basketball card well has already insisted, existed in many years, so I couldn't collect all the basketball cards, even if I wanted to. If I wanted to collect all the Pokemon cards at that time, you know, the, the English version cards, I actually could, most of them. Maybe there were some that would be, like, almost impossible to get, but not as impossible as it is today. So... After Jungle and after Fossil and after I collected most of those sets, I started, you know, going back to the basketball cards. But I didn't really lose the interest in Pokemon, the, the TV show. I actually watched the TV show and watched the whole first uh, and second season uh, of the show. And they were aired like uh, as the Saturday night, uh, morning cartoon. And at this point, I'm 14 years old and... You know, you get other interest, and I got back into basketball because it started growing, and I had my first dunk yeah, as a 14-year-old. So it that just took all of my attention at that point that maybe I could do something in the basketball world, and therefore I just left the Pokemon world. And thinking back, you know, I traded all my Pokemon cards for basketball cards. So that's like my introduction to pokemon but pokemon was always there and even though that i wasn't collecting i was aware of pokemon i was aware that something happened in pokemon whenever wizards of the coast were not having the dis distribution rights anymore and you know something happened and uh, every time we went to the bookstore and every time we went to like card shows and stuff like that i knew that pokemon was still there but it just wasn't as big so fast forward now I'm this 34-year-old man that has been hit with like a nostalgia trip as an insane nostalgia trip. So all the toys that I had as a child, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Power Rangers, the Batman, the animated figures, and all of that I had to collect again. And, you know, due to the fact of COVID and people finding stuff in the attics and having the time to, you know, stay at home and stuff like that, that hit me as well. So... I went through some of my older stuff and sold something off and traded off with people and and I started to you know uh, find an interest in what my nostalgic uh, effect was what 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 makes me you know feel nostalgic and I collected most of the toys that I wanted uh, and I had as a child and um, you know I started collecting basketball cards again heavily in at, at that time period about the year of uh, 2020 but you know when my daughter started to get a, gain an interest in pokemon last year and that's 2022 you know i was like this is funny because this is yeah this is 20 years later and maybe i should start collecting again if, if she's so much into the pokemon world now when she starts to know all the names and of the pokemons and know their evolutions and stuff Maybe that's something that I want to do as well because that's something we can have together. So, yeah, I had a guy contact me because of I do a lot of buy, sell, and trades of uh, basketball cards and toys and movies and stuff. And he was like, Do you want to trade this certain item for some Pokemon cards? And I was like, Yeah, that's, they can go directly to my daughter. But whenever we went through the cards, I found some of the old uh, Wizard of the Coast cards in there. And I was like, they hit me so hard with nostalgic effect that I actually had to start collecting them again. I, I, I had to see if I could like collect Base Set and Team Rocket and Fossil and uh, Jungle. And, and because I never had the opportunity of, you know, uh, collecting Team Rocket. And, and that's like my main set now. That's not my favorite set now is Team Rocket. Um, and, and we're trying to complete it and we're close now uh, but we also just just the base set and 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 fossil and jungle and all the neo genesis sets as well you know they they just remind me of my childhood and also like i really wanted some of the like the e-reader cards like the last tier of cards from wizard of the coast and and the first from you know the pokemon company because that was like sets that i i missed totally 
and I didn't even know at 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 this point in 2022 I haven't even seen the e-reader cards and didn't know about them so it was like a new experience to me but that, that was also like a funny experience to have a nostalgic trip and also finding out something new about that nostalgic trip at the same time so we um we started collecting heavily and have been buying collections uh, since like December of 2022 and we're now in April of 2023 and we already contain like uh, 20,000 cards <laughs> and we're trying to you know keep off the modern stuff but we're still buying modern stuff but that's more um, in the spirit of having something to trade to the older stuff because we know it's the it's it's more and more difficult to find the older stuff and I'm not really interested in older stuff that you know sealed or anything that could be awesome someday to have a sealed um, booster box of some sort from the Wizards of the Coast era that, that would be awesome but to me I couldn't resist not to own the cards I wanted to, to own the packs I I, I want to see what's inside of them and and we are missing so so few cards to you know complete sets that that, that wouldn't make sense to me to like have and complete box and knowing that maybe I'm missing one of two cards and there can be in that box so yeah and now we're here so my daughter is heavily collecting uh, Pikachu and Eevee uh, which most of the young girls like but she's also into um, Trigo and Score Bunny that's like you know the the funny witty uh, and also quite literally um quite literally the, the the more children friendly uh, pokemons but she also started collecting the figures and that's something i never collected the tommy figures so i started getting into that as well i started getting into the vhs tips uh, sorry vhs tapes and the dvds blu-rays whatever we can find and all of a sudden this has just been like pokemon mania we're going on board with this and we like build the shed um, in uh, uh, twenty one and and this just been gathering up and now we are are refurnishing it to like being a game room Pokemon room basketball um, you know NBA room so yeah and and I'll talk to you guys about the, that effect uh, whenever we get into the real episodes um, but yeah that's mostly where we are where we are right now we. We have started collecting, but you guys get the uh, get the opportunity to to go on a journey with us. And like whenever we pick up cool stuff, I'll I'll make a podcast about it. And yeah, maybe some time down the line, we we will start a YouTube page. But right now, it's focused about the the podcast and the yeah, you know, just sharing an experience um, with all you guys. And maybe I gather some advice that will make sense to you guys and you can learn something and I'll probably learn something from you guys. And I would like for you guys, you know, to if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, for example, leave a comment to what what subjects I can talk about as as like a new collector in 2023. I'm not a new collector anymore, but 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 catch my drift because it's like I am new to this still, but I'm like 34 years old. I have the option to spend money on this. It, it's not like um, and and invest in this. And I'm learning about the investment part of it because yeah, you can invest in packs and you can invest in boxes, but you can also invest in cards. And you know, there's the whole grading segment that we haven't really touched yet, and we're not. I don't know if we ever do grading of cards maybe we will whenever we get down the line and we contain so many cards and contain so many maybe rare cards that it's an option and it can be an investment for the future but we'll we'll handle all those things down the line right now we're here we're here to start this podcast we're to start this adventure of finding pokemon product you know giving out tips giving out advice you know whenever we find out something new about investments about increase in value and decrease in value i'll try to make a podcast i i want to make a, a weekly episode at least but if something exciting happens or we find something i'll share it with you guys as well and yeah this is also like story time maybe i'll just you know 
you know, share a story about something that I experienced uh, about Pokemon or around Pokemon. So, yeah, I hope you guys didn't get scared off by this prelude episode. Um, but yeah, give it a listen. Find me at uh, Spotify and Apple Podcast right now. I'm on Instagram, also Poganosta. Um, give me a follow, and yeah, if you have any like ideas or suggestions or anything just leave me a comment dm me whatever i will return i'm like i'm a i'm a normal guy man (laughs) i got a normal job and and this is purely for the hobby fun like experience of this and i hope you guys want to come with me on this journey and this is not just me this is my daughter this is my family as well so it's like a family thing so I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you whenever we get to episode one.